Welcome to Project Me, the podcast. I'm your host, Tiffany Carter, the founder of Project Me, multimillionaire entrepreneur, former TV newscaster, money-making expert, female empowerment speaker, and self-proclaimed office supply addict. My mission is to take the mystery out of making big money. Every week on Project Me, the podcast, I'll share success tips, strategies, and stories from other entrepreneurs, experts, and millionaires, showing you exactly how you can achieve your most exceptional life. Now let's get to it. Guaranteed you've wasted this year alone 1,232 minutes on this. Obsessing over it, analyzing it, overthinking, second guessing, wondering, and we cannot do this any longer to the point where I am going to make sure this is fixed for you. Figuring out what your niche should be, having absolute confidence in your niche is a pivotal foundational thing you must have for your business in order for you to speak clearly and convey clearly to your ideal client, letting them know what you specialize in helping them with. If it's too vague, you are not going to get sales, let alone even grow your audience because people aren't sure what it is you really talk about, how you can really help them, and confused buyers don't buy. So regardless if you're just starting your business or you're neck deep in it, I have a one-time only workshop coming up that'll save you thousands and thousands of dollars and clearly hours and hours and hours of wasted time. It is time for you to get rid of these mistakes and start making consistent cash in your business and grow your audience by the thousands and filling it with people who will be excited to buy from you. So I'm going to take you from feeling stuck and not confident in your business to being crystal clear about your niche so that you can start getting that cash, honey. This one-time only live workshop, Nail Your Niche, is valued at over $2,800. This is how much corporations would I would charge in order to teach this live. And you can sign up today for only $197. Now, space for this is extremely limited, so you're gonna wanna get in there, get all the details, and grab your ticket right now. You go to projectmewithtiffany.com, forward slash nail your niche project me with tiffany.com forward slash nail your niche in this 90 minutes you will walk away with an i help statement that is eye-catching tangible and crystal clear you'll walk away knowing exactly how to optimize your instagram bio for maximum visibility and growth Plus, I'll be teaching you the three key must-haves when you share any of your offers so that people actually buy them. So hurry, go grab this spot. All the details are in there, and I look forward to seeing you live in the Nail Your Niche Workshop. Welcome to Project Me with Tiffany Carter, the podcast and posse. I'm your host, Tiffany, and let's talk about being 50 shades of crazy (laughs) when you've lost your mind, hate the world, and want to say fuck it all. There is no way you have not been in that position already at some point this year already. And if you are growing a business, starting a business, you probably have already had that thought in the last five days. I would be shocked if you didn't. And if you never have that feeling of wanting to just disappear and be left alone, and no one to bother you with no responsibilities on a remote island somewhere, then I would have to say you're probably not truly in the game of life. You know, you're you're in a place of avoidance and emotionally shut down if you're not feeling those things. Whew, this last, I don't know, 30, 45 days has been a brutal wild ride for me, you guys. Oh my God. Terrible. I mean, just when I thought, okay, there can't be anything else because this is, I'm getting whacked in this direction, whacked in that direction, you know, shocked here, burned there. I'm like, there can't be anything else. This has to be it, right? Then there's another thing that happens. And I'm like, please, God, like, I can't take anymore. Like, 
please, no more. And even though I say that, then there's something more. It's stuff I can't even make up. It's insane. And it's hitting me in my personal life, professionally. And then you get, you know, so beaten down from all this stuff that you're exhausted and you don't have that much bandwidth and your creativity is gone and you don't really feel like doing things, even the things that you love to do. And then your self-care kind of goes a little bit. And, and then it just spirals from there and it ends up not being so cute. You know what I'm talking about? I call these moments the fuck everything and everyone moments. We don't actually mean it, but we just need to be left alone in pure silence, no responsibilities with copious amounts of carbs for two days. I mean, is that too much to ask, universe? Really? Is it? (laughs) And as much as these seasons suck, when we're getting buried in all the crap all at once, it is happening to wake us the fuck up. And I can even see that, and I'm still in it, right? God, the universe, a higher power, whatever it is you believe in, gives us many hints and even nudges on the things we need to change, shift, let go of, take action on, et cetera, et cetera, in our lives. But we're too damn busy sometimes running around, with crazy to-do lists, you know, distracting ourselves with social media, Netflix, people, places, and things, and then we get too paralyzed in fear to take action. And this is when spirit brings on the storm. Like, okay, honey, well, you're not listening because we've been giving you nudges. We've been even making you feel sick. We've been dropping major hints and giving you some pretty clear signs and you're still that damn stubborn and you're not listening, okay, time for a storm. So if you're in the middle of a downpour right now, I want you to ask yourself, what is God trying to show me here? What is the universe trying to show me here? Because there is a power greater than yourself at work trying to shake you awake because you're saying you want to make next level life-changing freedom money. You're saying you want to start the podcast. You're saying you want to quit your job and grow your business. You're saying you want to take your brand and business to the next level. You're saying that you want to be at a certain rank in your network marketing company. You want to get more listings as a realtor. You're wanting to get more patients as a doctor. You're wanting to find the love of your life. You're wanting to be more connected and have more great friendships. You're wanting to feel better with your health, your body. You're wanting to release really deep wounds that you have. You want These are all the things that you're saying you want. You said that you want these, by the way. You set these intentions going into 2022, right? Maybe you do them also at the top of a month, May, a lot of people do them, you know, if you've had a birthday so far this year, you might do it around a birthday. This is what this year I want for myself. So you've put these intentions out there. The universe has heard you. But that doesn't mean you're not going to have to go through some painful shit and kind of go sideways or even take five steps back in order for you to spring ahead. That's That's the part we forget when we put out these intentions because it feels so good. Like, this is what I want. This is on my vision board. This is what I want to manifest and call in. And it feels so delicious and yummy and such a beautiful, beautiful, abundant feeling. But then there is work that has to be done. It's not, it can feel like it's a price you're having to pay or a sacrifice you're having to make. What it really is, is the universe saying, You've got to let go of some things, people, behaviors, habits, beliefs that are holding you back from getting to where you say you want to go. And we've got to get you to a place of shifting those, of letting those go, of removing those, of unpacking those in order for you to get there because this is a barrier. This is the roadblock. This is why you're feeling stuck. This is why nothing feels like it's working. This is why you're abundance isn't coming in like you want it to come in because the universe can see right that full perspective of what's going on we can't because we're in it as a coach i can see it with my clients and help direct and navigate that's the beauty of having a coach 
Some of you have a coach. Some of you don't. Some of you need one. Really, all of you do. (laughs) I have three now. So I need ones that specialize in multiple areas of my life because they can see stuff I can't, especially when you're in the damn storm. We can't see it. And then we get caught up in it and we can end up down in a sewage drain if we do not have that proper support. It can end up feeling like uh, nothing is working. This isn't going to happen for me. It happens for everyone else, not me. What's wrong with me? Maybe I'm not cut out to do this. Maybe I don't have what it takes. What am I missing? No one's into me. Maybe people don't like me. Maybe I don't look a certain way. You know, goes on and on and on in our head because you're in the storm, because you're in the muck of it. And we stay in that spot versus seeing why the universe has put us in a storm, you'll end up down the drain. And you might be circling that drain right now with those thoughts. And this is why I recorded this episode, because I'm in real time and in in the storm. It is no joke (laughs) what's going on. And you're like, well, what's going on, Tiff? I can't even, I don't even want to I'll sure I'll do some kind of a recap. I can't I haven't even processed what's going on. I've been hit that many different directions, but I promise you once I process it, I'm going to share it with you guys and help show you why that happened as an example. So you can see why. And I know when you're in it, it's like, please don't tell me, Tiff, that everything everything happens for a reason. Oh, this is for your greater good. And it's like, that doesn't, that, we, that, we don't need to hear that right now. It's in pain. You feel like you're going backwards. You feel like you're further away from your goal and where you want to be more than ever. And it feels like shit. And I want, and I'm acknowledging that. And I hear you and I feel you. And it does feel like crap. And it is painful. And it's also necessary. We don't take scary action typically unless we're highly motivated. And that usually comes in the form of pain. When we're comfortable, when it's like slightly, you know, not super happy, but not miserable, you don't do shit and you know it. It's very rare. You're not like, you don't sit there and have, I need to change my life. I need to do something different. I need to hire Tiffany. I need to, you know, go and get a personal trainer. I, you know, I need to stop eating Ben and Jerry's every night, which by the way, now I'm sick of Ben and Jerry, both of them. (laughs) I'm sick of them both. And I was, I was praying for this day to come. That's great news. I'm kind of off, not fully sick of it, but just not obsessed with white cheddar popcorn. So that as that I've worn out. So this is good. This is what I what happens. Are you like that too? Where it's like you get fixated on a food. It doesn't have to be like an unhealthy food, um, but get fixated on some kind of a food or even like a beverage, and you're so fixated on it, and then you eat it so much that you're sick of it or even a certain like restaurant that's that's my food behavior is i i'll keep doing it doing it doing it and i'm like Ugh, i don't want it anymore i was on like a salmon run for a while there and then i went out took myself out after a, just a horrendously emotional whirlwind of literally an 8 hour period <sighs> I'm like, I can't even, I haven't processed what went on for me to verbalize it. So I'm just like, oh my God. And I hadn't eaten and probably had enough water because I was, it was just putting out one fire after another. It was both personally and professionally. And I was like, you know what? I want to, I want a fucking dirty martini with blue cheese stuffed olives and I'm going to go fucking get it. And I'm not, I'm like such a lightweight, like I have one, like I usually have, if I have one drink or a drink and a half, I'm highly entertaining. Like I don't need to drink that much. It's not, it's not my thing. Plus I end up feeling hungover from two drinks for like three days. 
even if I eat and drink water. It's like, what happens? I feel like once you hit, I feel like it's once you hit 30, you get like, you all of a sudden can't process toxins. <laughs> it's really weird. Anyway, so I took myself out. Um, It's this place I love their kale salad. You know, it's all about balance. I was like, I have a kale salad and a cocktail. Yay me. And I sat at this, you know, it's a, I wanted to take myself out somewhere nice. You know, it was like, it's like a high end steakhouse vibe, but at the, with a beach flair, you know, some, since I'm at the beach. So it's open air, lovely sat there. It was like probably happy hour time. Got my cocktail it was glorious. I also just, just so you know this about me, cause I know it's really important. Um, I don't like olives, but I require blue cheese stuffed olives in my dirty martini and a dirty martinis with olive juice but i'm not an al- olive ga- gal like they don't really do like when they at the restaurants and they serve like oh we have this amazing olive bread i'm like that's disgusting or like olive tepanade or however you say it not into it i know some of you are freaks and have olives on your pizza which is disgusting um yeah so i'm not into them but you give me a blue chief stuff olive that's soaked in gray goose. Now, now, honey, now you're talking, now you're talking my language. So I was sitting there and I wanted more than the kale salad. And I said to the guy, like, what's good for like an appetizer? And he said, like, these uh salmon pokey, like mini tacos or something. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm down for some pokey. It was they were gamey as hell. Why am I fucking telling you this right now? What does this have to do with anything? (laughs) My point is. I was on a salmon run and I got some gamey salmon. I don't think it was bad. It was just potent. And now I'm disgusted by it. So now I'm off. We're over Ben and Jerry. Not super into the white cheddar popcorn. And. I probably won't be eating salmon for a while. So basically, the only thing left is the dirty martini, which is really why I went there. And by the way, since when did cocktails, when you go out, get so wildly expensive? With Without tip and without tax, it was $18 for me to have what? A martini probably has, I don't know, what, six, seven sips in it? $18. So when you add tip and tax, this was like probably a $25 drink. Now it was worth it because I was a disaster and I deserved every sip of it. But like, what is that about? I think that's egregious. I was like, that's offensive. I'm glad I'm glad I didn't order a second one once I saw the receipt. But it was still worth it. It was worth it for the environment and for me to just have that moment. But that was something that In the middle of the storm, right, when I said it's like fuck everything and everyone moments, that doesn't mean we self-abandon. That doesn't mean we sit and take out a bat and beat ourselves up with it. That's how you end up down that storm drain. Instead, you can say that I have, I actually have an acronym for it. I've been saying it for years. It's F-E-E, fuck everything and everyone. So when I'm in that F-E-E moment, Like I said, it's not like I really mean it, but what it really symbolizes is I need time to myself. I need to not be bothered. I need to have fun. I need to pour into myself. I'm I'm done with adulting. I'm done with being a human being on this planet at the moment. Aliens take me away. And give yourself permission to go do something and say, fuck it, I'm going to go get a massage. Fuck it, I'm going to go I'm going to go take myself out to a high-end restaurant, sit at the bar and have a $25 dirty martini, right? Fuck it. I'm going to take a two-hour bath. Fuck it. I'm going to cancel the rest of my afternoon and reschedule everyone because I'm a disaster. That's okay. In those times, I would rather you do that or you're going to lose your damn mind. When you're in a downpour, What's required is extra TLC with yourself. What we tend to do, especially as women, we tend to do less TLC. We tend to skip the workout, forget to drink the water, eat shitty food, blow off 
blow off uh, taking a bath, not having time to talk to that friend, right? We end up doing that because we're on all hands on deck. We're in fight or flight. We're in high alert. I don't have time for this. I have to do this. I have to do that. And then we can we can power through for a little while, but then it ends up smacking us dead in the face and usually you get sick or something else happens. So these are the times when you need to take care extra care of yourself. All this stuff is truly happening to force you to shift a behavior, remove a behavior, replace a behavior, a habit, a belief, a person, a job, a client, a situation in your life. It is forcing you because we were being so resistant to it and avoiding it. And we're saying what we want. We're saying we want what we want and not been willing to do the uncomfortable thing. So God's going, okay, sis isn't, sis isn't, sis isn't doing it on her own. So we got to bring in a storm. Great pain has led to the most beautiful things, people, and achievements in my life. The discomfort and lack of fulfillment in my corporate career led me to building two seven-figure businesses. You're, You're listening to a byproduct of the lack of fulfillment in my corporate career and me being passed up for promotions because I wasn't part of the boys club and all that crap. The absolute hatred of my life and even planning my death led me to my greatest inner healing work I've ever done and truly finding myself. You know, the Tiffany you know today, this was a very different Tiffany before. I had zero self-worth. I had no idea who I was. I felt like a fraud. I didn't think I belonged here on, on earth. But in order for me to have done that scary, excruciating inner healing work that I still do to this day, I had to literally be at the point of planning my death. The pain of never feeling heard led me to a career in TV journalism and now hosting a world-renowned podcast. Truly. And I'm not saying, you know, people will go, well, I was I was abused and I wouldn't change all these. I was homeless and blah, blah, blah. And I wouldn't change one of these things. I'm so grateful all those things happen. I, I don't have that take. I do not wish my childhood on anybody and what happened to me. I don't wish that on on anybody that was in childhood, that was in my teens, that was in my early 20s. I, I don't I don't say, oh, I'm grateful that happened. But I will say something that came out of it was the pain of never feeling heard or seen or understood led me to be on an obsessive pursuit of being a TV journalist and then hosting a world-renowned podcast. And also, really, when I think about it, being being an an excellent coach, a mentor, and a friend, because I know what it's like to not be seen, heard, and understood— And so I make a point every day with every piece of content I put out for my email list, which if you're not getting my emails, you need to look in your damn junk folder because it seems like everything's ending up in there. You want these. This is none of this stuff is to waste your time. You get exclusive content in there from me from Millionaire Mindset Tips. You get a custom affirmation every single week story, abundance stories and exercises, and all of it's meant for you to consume in 30 seconds or less. None of it's basic because we don't do basic here, do we? We are not about that basic life. So here's how you can get on my, there's two ways you can get on my list. It's called my Secret Posse Weekly Digest. You can either go sign up directly at projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash secret posse. Or go sign up for my brand new live workshop, Nail Your Niche. This is where I will be teaching you and you will walk away with having a profitable niche statement, one that isn't vague, one that is clear and that is going to be profitable for you. 
plus what to put in your Instagram bio to have it be highly searchable and optimized so you can grow your damn following and have the most visibility for your brand and business. Plus, I will also be teaching you the three things you must include in any of your offers. I don't care if you're in real estate, network marketing, you're a service-based entrepreneur, you're a healer, you're a medical practitioner, you're a course creator, does not matter. The three things you must include on every offer for people to be excited to buy from you. This is a $2,800 training. This is how much money I am paid by corporations and other brands to teach this to their people, to their teams. And I'm bringing it to you live on Zoom for only $197. This is the only time it's going to be priced like this. So this is a one-time offer. The spots are limited since this is in a live workshop format. So even though it's not until May 18th, don't be messing around. Grab your spot. Send it to anyone that you feel would benefit from it. And truly, as long as you are someone who wants to make cash and get clients online for your business of any kind of business, even if you're just starting, this is a fundamental thing that you absolutely need in order for you to get clients and cash online consistently. So go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash nail your niche projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash nail your niche. You can swipe up. The link is in my show notes as well. The link is also in my bio on Instagram at Project Me with Tiffany. Or you can keep telling yourself you're stuck, you don't have clarity, you're not sure, and keep watching your audience barely grow at a snail's pace for six more months. That's completely up to you. Or you can spend $197 which you have it. That's why I priced it like that. That's a no-brainer and it's a tax deduction, period, end of story. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to come haunt you and be like, see, you should have come. You should have come. And if you're like, I can't come on that day. I'm on vacation or I'm at my kid's baseball game. You get access to the replay for seven days. So you get that as well. And it's unlimited. You can you can rewatch it 27 times if you want and get my voice stuck in your head. That's completely fine. Okay. More examples. Being gut-wrenchingly abandoned by the people I love the most led me to the beautiful, secure, and loving relationships I have today. So tox the toxic people, people stabbing me in the back, people just being energy vampires, you know, all that crappy stuff has led me actually to have amazing people on my team and the Project Me team because I've had this happen professionally too. Beautiful people in my life and taught me a lot about myself, boundaries, uh, my role in it, my codependency, how I was accepting unacceptable behavior because I didn't want to lose a person. You know, I would fear of abandonment. All this stuff is happening for your greatest growth because you've been in such resistance and not doing the thing proactively or with the nudges and ta shoulder taps that the universe has been giving you. You're in this pain for a reason. You're in this discomfort for a reason. And the longer you resist taking action, I'm telling you, the storm is going to brew and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you will get absolutely whacked. If you're saying what you say you want, you've got to be willing to do some uncomfortable things to get it. That doesn't mean, oh, so Tiff, in order for me to have the abundance I want, I have to sacrifice. I wouldn't look at it like sacrifice. No, you don't have to sacrifice. It might feel that way, though, when you're in it. But you are going to have to be really freaking uncomfortable and vulnerable and feel awkward and it feel like shit. Yeah. For, for you to get the things you want. Yeah. Because there's stuff that's there's stuff that is roadblocking you that you've done it since birth, since childhood for years um, that you don't even realize you're doing, which is why it's so dangerous to try to go after big things without having support from a coach. 
because you can't see what you can't see. And now you're being forced to do something about it. You're being forced to wake up. So allow your pain to pave a new way of existing for yourself. That's what's going on. And I'm not taking away from how crappy it feels. I mean, I'm giving myself extra TLC right now. I mean, after all, those are my initials. You know, extra TLC, extra nurturing, and just saying easy does it. Just one thing at a time. I'm taking everything in half hour in increments. What's the next indicated step? What's the next thing I can do? And just one step, not going, what do I need to do the rest of the day? What do I need to do the rest of the week? How am I going to fix this? Who do I have to call? You know, instead it's, okay, what's the next thing? Then we check that off. Okay. Now what's the next thing? Check that off. Okay. Check in with myself. What do I need right now? Have I been drinking enough water? Can I, should I take a break? Is that what I need? Um, if I can't take a break right now, what can I do to help nurture myself later and then do the next next indicated thing, next indicated thing? This will keep you from going down that storm drain. And if you're already in the storm drain, it's not too late. You can you can you can pull yourself out of it. But you have to do that through being self honoring and self nurturing and, and with self-love, not by self-abandoning and beating yourself up and guilting yourself and shaming yourself. That's only going to keep you in the shit longer. Believe me, I spent most of my life in the storm drain. And it's not cute down there. There's a lot, there's, there's a lot of pollution down in that, that storm drain. It's not cute. And it has major uh, high cost health effects and financial effects. So I don't, I don't want you down there. I want you standing in the storm with your arms in the air and surrender, going, bring it on. This is terrible. I don't like it, but I under I can see why this is happening for me. So just kind of kind of ponder on that. What is God trying to show me here? What is God trying to show me here? And know that you aren't alone. You're supported. I love you so much. Wishing you great health, wealth, and worth as always. Love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this podcast, please write a five-star review on iTunes. Not only will this make me super happy, but it will allow more listeners to find our special show. Simply help me help others.